Oh, are we recording? Welcome to the Milk Roots Podcast, Episode 8. A few days ago, I woke up into a different universe. Everyone was wearing clothes I've never seen before, and there was a bunch of strangers walking around town, and that was just the first day. Now I'm noticing people's attitudes have changed as well. Everyone I know seems to have become a different version of themselves overnight. Very subtle changes. Every universe is only ever so slightly different. That's why it's hard to tell. But pay attention to the subtle changes. Have you been getting deja vu more lately? You've dreamed this before. You're living out all those mundane dreams that you've forgotten over the years. But you remember waking up and thinking, That was a boring dream. I dreamed I was working at a pizza place, and I was just living life. Why would I dream that? Ten years later, you're working at a pizza place, and everything is coming together. Or are you watching it all fall apart? Remembering your own life while you're still in the middle of it? Are you out of your mind? Me? No. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I think. I think. I think and I think. I think and I think. That's what makes me tick. That's what makes me tick. Stop doing things that make you feel sick. Stop doing things that make you feel sick. Imagine that you are a serial killer. Um. Why? Because. You collect skulls. You want to have a basement full of skulls. Your walls lined with skulls. You want your house to look like the catacombs, basically. Just bear with me, I'm getting somewhere with this. In this hypothetical, you also live in a house that you built yourself next to a lake. And you are also the dragonborn. Okay, I'm just thinking about playing Skyrim. I don't know where I was going with that. But it's St. Patrick's Day right now as I'm recording this. Top of the morning to ya. It's always St. Patty's Day here at the Milk Roots Podcast. Aren't you aware Milk Roots is an Irish name, laddies and lasses? Nah, I'm kidding. Fuck St. Patrick's Day just as stupid as Valentine's Day. Sorry, I don't mean to sound so negative. Um, I love all the different cultures of the world. Honestly, to be completely honest. It's 2024. Welcome to the future, everybody. You know, one thing I've been wanting to talk about with this podcast is the fact that it was already 2024 back in 2020. And nobody remembers it. Four years of Earth's history were somehow erased and reset by the powers that be. And we were all forced to relive those four years for some reason. And now we're back in 2024 again. I don't think time is going to reset itself again, at least not for another couple years or so. So now we finally get to experience what happened on Earth in the year 2024 AD. For the second time? Who knows how many times this has happened. But 
It's not like a Groundhog Day situation. Or maybe it is. You know, night and day are just concepts. It's all just one long day. And the older you get, the more you come to realize it's all just one moment. Your whole life happens in a flash. Go on, keep wasting it. Ten elephants. Five years. Twenty girls. And half a walrus. I'm about to get very surreal. I need to talk about Horn Clean. He who bought the unseen. Does anybody know who Horncloon is? He has purchased that which we cannot see, and we must find it and bring it to him before the end of the world or something. I heard about Horncloon somewhere around 15 years ago, and what was told to me continues to echo in my mind almost every day. Bought the unseen, Horncloon. He wants it today. Do you know what it is that Horn Clune purchased? We are his postal service. We must find this unseeable thing that he bought, and we must deliver it to him before we run out of time, or something like that. I've been around since the 1500s, and I remember I was about three years old in human years back then, and I only just heard about Corn Clune 15 years ago. Back of chips. It's time for some more. Are we recording?